Hello again, everybody. My name is Miss Katie, and I'm an artist for the Artists in Schools. Um, I miss you all so very much, but until we can see each other again, I have found a really, really fun project for us to do. I tried it with my daughter, and she thought it was just the best thing ever, and it is using things that you can find in your kitchen, which is really great, because you don't have to have any art tools for it. Um, you'll need a plate. You'll see that this one has a bit of a lip around it, that's important because you are going to be pouring milk into this plate and you don't want it to slosh over the edges. It doesn't have to be really, really deep. Just enough so that um, you have at least like a half inch of milk. Uh, you'll need a Q-tip. That is also very important. Um, you will need some dish soap. I put mine in a little cup to make it easy for me to use it. You will need some kind of food coloring. It will be better if you use a couple different colors. You'll just get neater results. And then you will need some milk. And I put mine in my daughter's little safe kid cup. So if, once you have all those things, you're ready to go. Okay, everybody. So to start, we are going to take our milk and we're going to pour our milk into our plate. So here comes the fun part. You're going to take your dye. So whatever whatever food coloring you have. I didn't even have just normal food coloring. I had one. But um, I had some of these gel food colors. And those were my cabinet. So I just went with what I had. And you'll tip them upside down. And you'll put a few drops this one's almost empty. I feel like there's a couple drops in there that I can get. Haha. -ha. So you just have to be persistent. There we go. Now you'll notice um, with the milk that the colors don't disperse. They sort of sit on top of the milk, but they don't spread out. So I'm putting a little bit of violet. I put a little bit of green. And as of yet, it's, it's not too interesting. I'm gonna put a little bit of this orange color. And I'm kind of trying to spread it out so that I have a lot of different colors going everywhere. I don't want to make I don't want to make all of the same color in the same spot. And then last but not least, I'm going to put a couple drops of my red. Now, if you were to just stop and look at this right now, it's I mean, it's already looking a little bit neat, but there's not a whole lot going on. So what we do is we take our Q-tip and we are going to put it into our dish soap. Make sure you coat the whole Q-tip. And then take your Q-tip and I want you to dip it into the milk and break the surface tension. And now you've created a live art piece. And the neat thing is, it will just keep pulling those colors up and moving them around. 
So if you move your Q-tip around to different spots, spots that you may have forgotten that you even had dropped color, it'll take that color, pull it off the bottom, and it will actually create a new art piece. Now, my daughter and I did this the other day, and I want to say that we played with these colors for probably about 30 minutes and created all kinds of different really neat-looking art pieces. And every now and then, you know, we'd step back, we'd look at what we'd created, and um, we'd take a picture to document it. And if you feel like your Q-tip no longer has enough of your dish soap, you can take a new one. Just kind of dip it in. You don't want too much, just, just enough to coat the, the end of it. And then start again. Thank you again for joining me. Um, I hope you had a blast and I will see you next time on The Locker.